Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. In this lab experiment, we will determine the principle of moments. We extend our sincere gratitude to Cambridge International Assessment Education for their invaluable contribution to the creation of this compelling video content, which promises to enlighten and inspire curious minds around the world. One of the effects of a force acting on an object is rotation. An object may start turning around a point by applying some force. Similarly, an already rotating object could be made to rotate faster or slower or even to stop rotating. An object is in rotational equilibrium if it is not rotating or is rotating at a constant speed. In this experiment, an object that is in rotational equilibrium will be studied. The principle of movements states that if an object is in equilibrium around a pivot point, then the sum of clockwise movements must be equal to the sum of anti-clockwise movements. This is the condition for rotational equilibrium. First, the nail is carefully pushed through both corks to make tight-fitting holes. The first cork and nail is then clamped in the stand. Then the meter rule is balanced on the pivot and secured in place with the second cork. It is very likely that the ruler will not be perfectly balanced. It is acceptable that the ruler will almost balance. Now 100 gram is added to the left hand side of the meter rule 10 cm away from the pivot and 100 gram is added to the right hand side. The right hand side weight is moved gently either away or towards the pivot point until the meter rule is balanced again. The data is recorded in a table like this. The applied force on the meter rule is assumed to equal the number of 100 gram masses used. Another 100 gram weight is added to the length hand hanger and a new position of the right hand hanger is found to achieve balance. Different arrangements of weights and distances can be placed on both sides of the pivot to maintain balance. Five different combinations have now been added to the table. Remember the moment equals the force times the perpendicular distance from the pivot. From the results in the table, the anti-clockwise and clockwise movements can be calculated using the values in the data table. The values of the clockwise and anti-clockwise movements are almost equal to each other of each balance meter rule. This is an example of the principle of movements in action. If the sum of clockwise movements is equal to the sum of anti-clockwise movements, the object is in rotational equilibrium. Different sets of masses at different distances on the left hand side can create more than one anti-clockwise movement. Similarly, more than one clockwise movement can be created by adding additional sets of masses to the right hand side of the meter rule. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.